Ah ouais Je t'en fais. So now finally it's opening. Uh, we are kind of nervous because we are late. It's uh, strange here this year. Normally it opens first in Barrow so that boats from the west have uh, more advantage to enjoy the Northwest Passage. It's always, I'm a little bit nervous. It always takes a lot of responsibility with so many people on board. And I'm hoping I have everything, in enough food and uh, from everything enough so that we have a good time. We see um, Russia over there. And over there? What do you see and over, over there? there we see, um, we are here uh, at the Bering Street. Um, it's uh, we have uh, 42, 43 knots of wind, so it's kind of stormy, and I hope uh, we don't do any damage on the boat. Um, a long time ago, in the last ice age, the mammoths were crossing here, so it was land, now it's water. So now I have to concentrate again for the sailing. We just took our first one liter water sample from the Northwest Passage to see how much microplastics are in the ocean here. We're going to send it off to Adventure and Scientists for Conservation to be analyzed. Finally installing the ice crasher. First sailing boat uh, using Hecla Strait from uh, Alaska to get to the Atlantic. And um, we are all kind of nervous uh, how much ice we will encounter and how many polar bears and how much current. There's not much information only some icebreakers made it through and we decided to go this way because we are late in the season in Lancaster Sound there are now gales blowing it's snowing up there and so we like to use the time just to explore and see if we can make it through and that would save us a lot of time and a lot of mileage to go further south to Labrador when we can enter um, Fox Basin and Hudson Bay and go out Hudson Strait. Today we get a half of an orange. Yeah. <laughs> it's really small amount. <laughs> nice water. It was just beautiful to meet all these these people on the on the islands, on the places we met. They were so generous and always gave us a warm welcome even though we, we didn't even know them well. They offered us their house, their, their beds even and having a shower was so precious. Like Christmas we felt always when we could shower again after maybe 10, 10 days. <laughs> I've lived on this Victoria Island for 28 years. Uh, up until about five, six years ago, everywhere you looked, we used to have herds of muskox. And plus, there's uh, lungworm disease going around that a lot of the muskox are dying from. Them. And this, it, it, we're September or August uh, 20th today, I believe. And we've never had weather this warm in, in August never this kind of weather. So the global warming is changing everything up here. The Inuit people, they really depend on nature to survive and it's I think the lifestyle they have where they really 
have to look after nature also that their base is not gone for the next generation. I think this kind of lifestyle was impressive to see. Enjoy a haven uh, where Atmanson all wintered. Um, we were at the school giving presentations uh, to the elementary school children and also to the high school children. We did a big cleanup with the students in town. So we have seen there about 400 to 500 students and it was very interesting because we learned a lot from the local people there how they survive in this harsh climate. You did a really great job. It was not even 10 minutes, it was 7 minutes. And you were able to collect so much uh, plastic just around the school. So that's, I think, a world record. So congratulations. Yeah. Huh? to do a night watch a few days ago. I'm just in front of the boat and you can see basically nothing and you know there are huge chunks of icebergs out there and they're somehow floating and you have no idea where they are and you're in front and you know the one behind doesn't see much more than you do. Yeah, first sailing boat on the Northwest Passage going to Hecla Strait into Hudson Bay. Oh, I'm tired. It was hard, but we made it. 13.5 knots of speed through Labrador Narrows. <laughs> yeah.